you are going to have people moving into cities on a scale that has never happened before. And that means they are going to start getting rich people's diseases. Basically, the story of economic development almost everywhere in the world is that fewer and fewer people live off the land and more and more people move to cities. That process, urbanization, is the fundamental fact that reduces poverty. So far, what has happened is every time you have had economic development, what you have seen is these developing countries very quickly transition from poor people's diseases to rich people's diseases. Diseases that you get when you eat too much protein, when you have too little exercise, when you have too much fat. We know better, but what you're trying to control is a very deep evolutionary impulse that human beings have developed over tens of thousands of years. And the fact that we have this knowledge does not seem to change human behavior. What might happen is you will see cities become more aggressive in terms of the issues relating to behavior modification. Michael Bloomberg at New York was in many ways the pioneer on smoking. Uh, he tried to do it on trans fats and on soda. I, I suspect that this is, this is going to continue because uh, there is a greater sense in the, at the city level that you are responsible for the quality of life and quality of health. One of the advantages New Yorkers have is that walking is easy. Having a non-sedentary lifestyle is relatively easy. The blocks are simple. The city is a very walkable city. Um, there are many, many cities in the world and many cities in the developing world that are being built and designed in a way that it would be impossible to walk in them. I think that's a big mistake. Cities must be designed with some capacity to walk because otherwise we are in, accelerating and emphasizing the sedentary lifestyle, which we now know is at the heart of many of the health problems that advanced countries have. For many years, decades, we didn't know enough about what kind of uh, behavior was producing illness. Now we know better. We know that prevention is much easier and cheaper, but it requires enormous and sustain changes in lifestyle. It may be possible that because of learning, because of best practices, the next generation, you, you will see countries that go through the economic development without immediately bulking up on fat and proteins, sedentary lifestyles. So far, there is no good news on this front. There's no large country where you have seen the ability to make lifestyle changes dominate. And as a result, the healthcare systems inevitably look to drugs, look to pharmaceuticals to solve the problem.